and the stops for that show. We want the fans to go crazy, you know, with the for the for the cameras and everything. Cool, man. Right on. And you guys got you got a show coming up at State right Theater that you, you wanted to you talk about, show. correct? Is that the St. Pete? Yeah, well, we have the U.S. tour coming up um, in October, and I just got some of the pre-sale numbers, and it's selling really good. Some of the shows are looking getting close to sold out, so that's very encouraging. And um, I mean, the, the the whole thing in the U.S. has just gotten bigger and bigger, and you know, the fan base has just grown, and the fans are. You know, right up there with the Europeans and everybody else in, the, in South America in terms of the crowd response. And um, it's, it's, it's great to see that we can finally tour in, in our own country now. And Yeah, um, man. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing, man. We're actually finally going to get our U.S. tour going on this fall, man, with John Oliva. So. Which, you know, the people in Brazil seem that, you know, to want to have you guys back in Brazil and we're looking to go back man we should talk about that sometime Thomas maybe going back to Brazil together next year man it'd be awesome that'd be great I mean like right now we're talking about going back um, maybe in the beginning of January or February so right on what happens we're also planning a another return to Europe in March which will include, include a, a full UK tour this time um, and we're going to do more shows in Spain Possibly right another show in Bulgaria, maybe some of the Eastern European countries. So, right on. Uh, man. Um, we're not slowing down at all. We're kind of just getting started. So it's a uh, oh yeah, man. Busy time, but you know, it's it's better to be busy than not be busy. You know. Oh, absolutely, dude. And you know, this is what you know we've been doing this for all our lives. You know, is to to get to the point to where you're in demand, to where you can do all that shit, man. It's really cool, you know. And uh, it's, it's it's great. I mean, the, the and. You know, that, that 90 minutes on stage is what it's all about for, for me, you know. Um, it's, it's fun to create the music, to, to come up with ideas for artwork, for CD covers and, and what, you know, whatnot. But those 90 minutes on stage or two hours on stage is, is you know, what it's all about. Yeah. Um, you know, that's what we're looking for. And, you know, that's why we, we've basically become a, made the touring a bigger part of what, what we do now. And um, it's definitely... You know, the highlight of, uh, of, the, of the day, you know, is getting on that stage every night and interacting and sharing everything with the fans. Oh, yeah, man. You know, uh, I gotta, we got to talk about Oliver for a second, man. Yeah, Ollie. <laughs> you know, Ollie. The you know, man. Yeah, playing, uh, you know, all the keyboards for you guys for how, how long now? Fuck, like three, four years? Um, I think he, he started on, a, on with, with the Black Halo tour. Um, right on. As, as just a, like as a, a session guy, and you know, we just felt like he gelled perfectly with the band personally. As a musician, he was he was perfect. Um, you know, he brought another kind of d dimension to the live show. Yeah. And um, so you know, we we asked him to join the band, and of course, he he was working with other bands, and he still is uh, uh, on some occasions. But Son of a you know, he's he's made Camelot his priority, which is great. And, you know, I think it's just, he's a perfect addition to the group, and, um, you know, we just, uh, we couldn't have found a better uh, keyboard player. Right on. Yeah, dude, uh, I met Oliver the first time I was, uh, the first tour I did with Circle to Circle, uh, we did with Blaze, and he was playing rhythm guitar, and and keys for uh, for Blaze, and we needed a keyboard player, so we were like, hey, dude, you know, fuck it, you know, just play keys. And, man, he is just the coolest dude, man. He is the coolest fucking cat to hang out with. And, uh, you know, do me a favor. He's, he's, uh, he's so quiet, you don't know he's in the room, but oh, no. his talent is, um, he's one of the best keyboard players and one of the best guitar players that I know, and, you know, he doesn't have to run around and talk about it. He just... He did, when he plays, you can see that, you know, and that's a great, I think that's a great thing to, that he's very humble with the, his talent, and, um, you know, it's just, uh, like you said, I mean, he's just a, a great person to hang out with, and on stage, you know, I was actually, when we first did our first rehearsal, I was a little bit worried because I never saw him on stage before, and he was standing kind of still on the keyboards and playing and making sure everything was right, and then I thought, oh man, on, you know, live, this guy's going to be kind of kind of lame, but... You know, our first show, he was like 
headbanging, spent doing helicopter spins with his hair, and and I was just like, I had a big smile on my face the whole night, you know, thinking, wow, this is awesome, you know. Yeah, dude, when you talk to him again, please tell him that I say hello, man. It's it's been a long time since I've talked to him. Uh, man, I know you're hanging with the daughter and everything, Thomas, man. Um, Let's see, you guys, uh, for those of you out there who do, does not know, uh, you can go to myspace.com forward slash Camelot or Camelot.com. Um, what else? Uh, your uh, your Cam TV uh, is on YouTube, correct? That's right, yeah, that's right. And we got the U.S. tour coming up in October. That's right. So we want everybody in the U.S. to, to come out and support us, support all the metal bands that are touring so we can keep this thing growing here. And um, Absolutely. We'll definitely give it back to you for sure. Yeah, man. Dude, I really hope to see you soon, Thomas. It was great talking to you, brother. Uh, I'm going to spend three tunes. Actually, this is really important, man. I want to get you to do me a favor, Thomas. Um, there was a girl in the chat room earlier was talking about a guy um, who passed away recently at, right after a, a show of your guys, and he was a really big fan. Uh, his yeah. name was Marco uh, McKinnon. I think. Yeah, Marco Max McKinnon is a, a fan of ours and in, in, uh, outside of uh, Helsinki there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I am. I was asked if I could dedicate a song of your guys. I, I would actually. I'm going to ask you to do that. I'm going to. Uh, Karma is the one that she asked. So I'm going to play Karma, I'm going to play Ghost Opera, and I'm going to play Wings of Despair. Uh, I'm going to leave it up to you, brother, to bring this in, if you don't mind, um, and dedicate this to Marco, if you don't mind, man. Sure, man. This song uh, is dedica dedicated to our great fan, Mark, Marco Max McKinnon, who um, had the best Karma on the forum, and this goes out to you, Max. It's called Karma. Right on. Thanks, man. Ooh. 